In today's video, we're going to be looking at the effect of enzyme and substrate concentration on the rate of enzyme controlled reactions. And just remember, we have our enzyme, it's a protein, and it has a specific site on it called the active site. And what happens is the substrate molecule binds to that active site. An enzyme substrate complex is formed as with this diagram here. And lastly, the substrate turns into a product which is later released. So let's start by looking at the effect of increasing the concentration of substrate molecules and the effect that that has on an enzyme catalyzed reaction. So we like to draw graphs when we're talking about this. So on our graph, on our y-axis, we can see the initial rate of reaction, and then on our x-axis, we can see the substrate concentration, and obviously we can see that it's going to increase the further along the x-axis we go. So in terms of the rate of reaction, let's take a look at the graph we would get, and we'll break it down into portions to try and understand what's going on. So we can see at the beginning that with increasing substrate concentration, from here to here, we see an increased rate of reaction how do we know that? Because we have a positive correlation between the two values, it tends to be directly proportional. So as you get an increase in substrate concentration, we see an increase in the rate of reaction. And let's try and understand why by drawing a few diagrams. So these are enzymes. And if we draw some substrates, clearly these substrates will bind here to the enzyme's active site but we don't have enough substrate molecules to bind to these enzymes over here, which is why we haven't reached our maximum rate of reaction. However, you can imagine that as you increase the substrate concentration further, they will then go ahead, they will then go and bind, so we see an increase in the rate of reaction. And you'll see your maximum rate of reaction when your substrate concentration and enzyme concentrations are pretty much equal. However, you get to a point where it starts plateauing, so you see a levelling out of the graph. And let's try and understand why if we draw another very poorly drawn cartoon, really, of what's going on. So here are enzymes again, our little Pac-Man. We keep adding substrates, so lots of purple substrates coming in, huge numbers. Well, that one will bind here, this one can bind there. But you'll see, look, we've got these two spare substrates. And if we were to continue to add more substrates, are you happy that there's no enzyme available for them to bind to? And that's when you describe the number of enzyme molecules as being the limiting factor. So effectively, they queue up waiting for the enzyme to become free. So although initially increasing the substrate concentration leads to an increased rate of reaction, it gets to a point whereby even though you've got plentiful supplies of substrates, you will no longer get an increase in the rate of reaction, and that's because the number of enzyme molecules are the limiting factor. And I'm going to write that out with some nice perfect exam wording in the next slide. So I thought it would be good to describe and explain the various parts of the graph, and I've split up my table into the description and the explanation so that you can hopefully see how you're supposed to answer the questions. So we're looking at portion one of the graph, where the gradient is steep. And we're looking to describe that part of the graph. So remember when you describe a graph, you need to say what you see. You're not giving any scientific explanation here. So we can see here that at lower substrate concentrations, the rate increases in direct proportion to the increase in substrate concentration. And now we want to explain, so we want to say why. And that was really what my cartoon was trying to show you before. So why do we see an increase in the rate of reaction as the substrate concentration increases? Well, that's because at low substrate concentrations, there is, and I'm writing concentration as conch, try and write it out in full in the exam, there is effectively an excess of enzyme molecules present. This means that there are free 
enzyme molecules available to react with added substrate molecules to form, remember that's called their enzyme substrate complex. And this is over a specific time period, so per unit time. Here, the substrate concentration is the limiting factor. And I've actually run out of space to talk about the second portion of the graph, so I'm going to just do a little bit of a raising. So now we're going to describe the second part of the graph. So we're saying what we can see. And we can see here that we're at higher substrate concentrations, but that the rate of reaction has become constant. And that's shown by the graph plateauing. Now in the second part of our table, we're going to explain why we see that plateauing of the graph line. And that's because as more substrate molecules are added, there comes a point where the concentration of substrate is greater than the concentration of enzymes. And effectively, the substrates have to queue up for access to an enzyme. So you find that adding even more substrate increases the number of molecules queuing effectively and now there's no further increase in the rate of reaction. So the substrate molecules can't bind to the active site of the enzymes. They have to wait. The enzyme concentration has therefore become the limiting factor. And that takes us on very nicely into looking at the effect of enzyme concentration on the rates of reaction. And luckily the graph is extremely similar to the one we've just looked at. Notice that our x-axis now has enzyme concentration on it. So let's try and predict our answer. We can see the graph that's a very similar shape. We have portions one and two. If we had to describe what's going on at one, you would say that as the enzyme concentration increases, the rate of reaction increases. And this is a directly proportional relationship. So this is our description. Let's look at our explanation now. We can see at low concentrations of enzymes, there is effectively an excess, so a plentiful supply of substrate molecules. There are no free enzymes to be acted upon and therefore enzyme concentration is the limiting factor here. Now we're going to describe the second portion of the graph. So you can see here that at higher enzyme concentrations, the rate of reaction becomes constant, showing no further increase as the enzyme concentration increases. Let's look at our explanation now. And what you find that eventually you get to a point whereby regardless of the fact more enzyme molecules are added, there aren't enough substrate molecules to bind to them. So the substrate here is the limiting factor. And consequently, it doesn't matter how many enzyme molecules you add, the rate of reaction will show no further increase. So we're writing that here. Eventually the enzyme concentration becomes greater than the substrate concentration. There are many free active sites and not enough substrates. Adding more enzymes therefore causes no further increase in rate of reaction because the substrate concentration is the limiting factor.